Now I think I'm putting the pieces together, folks. Now I think I see why Stephen A. Smith went on air to dispute the criticisms and the disparaging remarks from Kevin Durant. Now it all makes sense. According to several reputable sources, there's a growing tension, a lot of growing tension between Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless. Yes, they often refer to their friendship while on air, but we all know that television is television, and these people aren't always honest. And apparently, Skip Bayless may be a little bit, um, a little bit envious of Stephen A. Smith, envious of the fact that Skip Bayless, you know, he's been there since the '90s, and yet Stephen A. Smith is the employee of ESPN who's dependent upon more so than Skip Bayless. Because as you guys know from watching ESPN First Take, Skip Bayless is always on set. Stephen A. Smith, especially in recent years, often is not on set. And the reason why that is is because Skip, uh, excuse me, Stephen A. Smith wears many different hats for ESPN. He primarily was known as a NBA analyst, but now he's an NFL analyst. He's maybe a boxing analyst. He will talk about virtually anything. All right, uh, Skip Bayless kind of has that one niche right there, that show. Stephen A. works pretty much around the clock. He's pretty much almost a he's pretty much a workaholic. But the reason why. Stephen A. Smith is not on set oftentimes. It's not just because of that, but because he's dependent upon by ESPN. From what I've read, he's dependent upon by ESPN to be the inside guy. He's their insider. He's the guy who they pay handsomely, three million dollars a year. I've just read. They pay him three million dollars a year to get the inside information, to get the latest news, to get the inside scoop. And when Kevin Durant publicly refuted uh, rumors that Stephen A. Smith espoused on the show, that's probably the reason why Stephen A. Smith, instead of, you know, resolving the issue as I thought at the time he should have, you know, man on man on, not putting it on television. Uh, now I see why he went in front of the public on ESPN, next to his colleagues, and especially next to Skip Bayless, to put Skip, Skip Bayless's mind at ease that, yes, I am doing my job. I understand that it can be frustrating to work with me, you know. I'm often not on set. Um, I often only show up 30 minutes before work time while you prepare meticulously for hours to make sure that you have the topics and, and the, and the uh, conversation of what is either the topic of the conversation uh, nailed down. I understand that's frustrating, but I am doing my job. Skip Bayless, uh, on the other hand, apparently feels slighted. As I said, uh, Skip is older. Skip and Skip Bayless when you when it pertains to uh what term I want to use. While he's valued at ESPN, when it pertains to demographics, he's a dinosaur. Alright? He's older. And in ESPN's eyes, may be more expendable. I don't think he is. Uh, I don't particularly like ESPN, but I watch the show for what it is. You know, I look at it as entertainment. I don't take what these guys say seriously. A lot of people do. I think that's a mistake. All right, there are better journalists out there. I look at ESPN and ESPN take as the Pizza Hut of pizzas. All right, it's. 
it's the largest market there is by far it's the largest but if you talk about quality no usually you're much smaller smaller venues are much much better as far as quality is concerned and so I, I, that's how I look at ESPN uh, I look at it as entertainment but like I said uh, like I said I can understand Skip Bayless being a little frustrated uh, I would be if I was working with someone who wasn't there and someone like who was getting a lot of leeway and it wouldn't be all that shocking if Skip Bayless left uh, his contract is up in 2016 uh, a few ESPN longtime uh, employees have left Jason Whitlock is gone. Colin Coward recently left. Bill Simmons is gone. Um, all of the old guard have pretty much been either gone or have been phased out. You know, all of the people who I grew up watching on ESPN are gone. Oberman. Uh, I don't even know if Linda Cohn is there anymore. I thought I saw her recently, but I don't know whether she's gone anymore. Uh, whether she's gone or not. Uh, like I said, Oberman, Linda Cohn, um, Stuart Scott, you know, rest in peace, he's, he's deceased. Um, all these other people are like gone. What was the guy named Van Pelt? I think he has his own show. Uh, the ESPN that I grew up watching and found informative is dead. And now it's replaced by entertainment. And I'll give you an example of why I don't really watch this channel. Today's big news was the fact that apparently there's a rift going between Mark, uh, Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher. And Derek Fisher is supposedly uh, involved with Matt Barnes ex-wife who is the mother of his children and apparently unbeknownst to Matt Barnes until very recently Derek Fisher was at the property of Matt Barnes's ex-wife which Matt Barnes supposedly owned and there was a physical altercation and then Matt Barnes drove 90 something miles to be there and then some people <coughs> were talking about that and since when did this type of stuff get talked about on ESPN. I can't, re I don't recall that. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I do sort of remember during the 98 finals, I think it was, the 97 or 98 finals, when there was some talk about Dennis Rodman and his gambling habits, spending time at a casino late into the night and whether or not he was going to be physically able to perform at his highest capacity for that next playoff game. I remember talk like that. But all of this sort of taboo, tabloid, you know, sideshow crap, that's not that's not sports talk to me, man. And the fact that it's it's been dumbed down to that is sad. But that's the world we live in. It's more about the topic and, and how you know, appealing it looks. You know, even though it can be, over the long run, bad for you. And as junk food is bad for you physically over a period of time, junk TV is bad for your mind. And if anything that I'm seeing on YouTube and just everyday life is, 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 is any indication, there's a lot of people who are very unhealthy mentally.